Hi, this is yet another video screencast tutorial on HTML2 WordPress and continue on with creating a WordPress theme from an HTML layout. In this tutorial, we are going to start customizing the sidebar. All right. Just as a recap, uh, from our last tutorial, we've um, customized the header.php file, and this let us create the header section with the uh, title of the blog plus the top navigation bar. And now we're going to work on the sidebar. And so you can see in the current um, theme, uh, the sidebar is currently located right at the bottom of the page, and there is virtually no styling at the moment. And now if you also remember that the sidebar resides in the sidebar.php file within our uh, WordPress theme. So let us open that file by going to the uh, WordPress folder. So in our, inside our WordPress folder, um, look under wp-content, themes. And then into our theme, which is the practice theme, look for sidebar.php file. Let's open that in the code editor. Okay. And then besides this, we also need um, to look at our template file to see what the sidebar actually looks like. So if we go into uh, the demo layout folder, which you've downloaded, uh, look under blog.html, open up that file, open with, oops, Firefox. Okay, so this is the layout for the sidebar. You can see that on our sidebar, we have an about section with a little bit of a blurb about the offer. And then we have a search feature followed by just sidebar links, archives, etc. So let us take a look at the HTML um, actual code itself so we can start comparing the two between the um, HTML file and our sidebar.php. Okay, let's just close that up. So now I'm going to just move this over into a new window so we can compare them side by side as we did with the header file. Great, okay. <clears throat> um, so in blog.php, let's just scroll down to see our sidebar. Not that, that, not that, not that. Right here. So the sidebar starts from here and it goes all the way down, 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 down to there. So the ending div tag is right there. All right, and if we compare that to our sidebar.php file, you can see that currently there's no um, outside container that defines this as the sidebar. So let us add back in the div tag. Let me scroll this back, oops, up to here. Grab the div with the ID of sidebar, copy it, and then paste it over onto our sidebar.php file and correspondingly we need to close this div tag at the bottom closing div tag perfect save this and let's take a look at what our code looks like so this guy so you can still see that it's still stuck at the bottom however it's now aligned to the right hand side so the reason why this is still stuck at the bottom is because this top content area hasn't been styled yet. And so it's just taking up the whole container space. So let's just fix that at the moment quickly. So because for this page, just to uh, make sure we know what it looks like. So uh, this is the front page, which has the um, file of index.php. So if we go really quickly and into our WordPress theme folder under our practice theme, open up index.php, open, perfect, in, okay, just going to drag this over on this side so we can see it, that's better, index.php, and then 
goes like this. So for the main container area, you can see that we have uh, something called the container div and the main div. So um, so this is the header. That's just the code to grab the header. Uh, we'll be actually going through in detail um, the components of um, each of these container pages in the next tutorial. So um, just hold on for that part. But for now, just grab the two div tags, so the content and the main, copy it, and paste it into our index.php file. Okay, and then at the bottom, after all of this stuff, you can see that we have a closing uh, div tag for the main div before we start the sidebar. So go down, we see before the sidebar, put in our closing div tag for the um, main div, and then we have the sidebar. And then after the sidebar, we have the um, closing div tag for the content. So place that there. Oops. Right, and then we just have to further uh, hit save. And then go back to our browser and reload. And you would see that um, the container is now fixed. So that this now takes up the left portion and our sidebar sits up right up top at the right hand side. Okay, so now you can see back into our um, layout, you can see that we have this about section up top, which is not included in our current theme. So let's add that in. Going to the code. This is the wrong file. We need to open the sidebar.php file. There we go. And then go back up to the top. So in the sidebar, we have this about uh, the whatever the author section. And so, and this uh, is just the sidebar widgets that allow us to add things like the search box and um, links to archives, etc. So we want to add the section of about in front of that. So we can just go in and grab all of this da, 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 just before the search because the search is a part of the widget, the sidebar widget. So plunk that in. Save that. Ooh, that looks pretty ugly, doesn't it? <laughs> Okay, that's better. Save it and go back to our page. Reload. Now we've added our section in, except you can see that uh, the image again uh, is not showing up. This is because the image folder is now relocated into a different spot. So we can change that by uh, changing the URL location. Going back, mm, where is it? The image. Okay, so this needs to uh, change to have um, dynamically generated um, URL. So um, this is going to require some PHP work. So to start off with, we have to use um, the PHP tag opener. I'm just going to close this for now just to make sure I don't forget. And then the uh, WordPress function we want to use is called blog info, the good old blog info, which contains pretty much all the um, necessary information for the basic features of your blog. And then the what you want is called the template directory. Hurry. Perfect. So what this does, it grabs, uh, it outputs the uh, directory URL to uh, the theme template. And then after that we've are uh, in there, you can just go slash images slash our gravatar and this should work. So let's just save that. And then go back and refresh our page and it shows up fine. Perfect. 